Hi, this is Amethyst here, and I'm just going to go over the water filtration systems that Ms. Half and I have been trialing over the last two years uh, to try and figure out what exactly it is that we would want to go with on the Appalachian Trail. So, um, working from left to right here, uh, the first off we have the CNOC, 2 liter Vecto, and it works in conjunction with our Sawyer Squeeze and a smart water bottle. And then we also have the Catadyne Be Free uh, one liter bottle. And then we also have the Sawyer Mini, and we haven't even used this yet, and I'll explain why um, as we move through. So to start with, the CNOC Vecto, um, it connects to the Sawyer Squeeze like this, and we use it in conjunction with the adapter. Uh, the adapter allows us to hook the smart water bottle on. It just screws on, screws on just like this. And it allows us to do a water filter hang system. So we can fill this with water, hang it. It'll filter while we go about our regular camp chores and we don't even have to pay attention to it. Or if we're along the trail, we can just squeeze it down and it filters right into the bottle really quickly. We don't make a mess. We don't get water all over ourselves by accident or wasted on the ground. Um, so that's how that system works. And wait for this. The CNOC, in conjunction with the adapter, because we always use the adapter, comes out to 2.93 ounces. And then the Sawyer Squeeze is another 3.10, for a total of 6.03 ounces total. So two liter water carrying capacity, six just a little over six ounces total the catadyne be free it's a one liter system um, and it only weighs 2.26 ounces so much much lighter so that's one of the reasons why we trialed it so we used the cnoc system um, first when we did the georgia section of the bartram trail when we started the tuscarora trail we decided to give this a whirl we'd seen a lot of information about it it's really lightweight it has a very, very fast um, filtration rate. So you can filter a liter of water in absolutely no time flat. So 2.26 ounces, very lightweight. The actual filter itself, very small. It's easy to clean. You can just swish it, um, fill this with some filtered clean water, just swish and shake it, and that cleans it rather than the Sawyer, which you have to back flush. Um, it's a little more time consuming to do the Sawyer, so this one's super easy to uh, to clean. However, um, it probably only lasted 100, 150 miles before it was completely done. Completely done. Um, would not filter but two or three drops of water. And that was with us frequently cleaning it. We would, we would clean it probably every five, six liters of water that, uh, that we were filtering and it still didn't last. Uh, you can kind of see on the bag here when I inflate it. The bag's already got like a big blister um, weak spot on it, so that's probably not going to last for much longer before the bag itself busts as well. So we went back to the CNOC and Sawyer Squeeze system uh, while we were on the Tuscarora. We finished the rest, rest of the Tuscarora Trail with it. We finished the rest of the Bartram Trail with this. Uh, this has probably got over 200 miles worth of um, filtration time for two people. I mean, this is a couple that's filtering um, using the Sawyer um, in comparison to the Catadine, which got maybe 150 miles for two people. So um, when it comes to cost efficiency, there's just no comparison. This entails for $41 and um, that's for the full system, and then just the filter itself is less. I believe it's around $25 or $30 just to replace the filter itself. But once again, I mean, the bag isn't lasting either, so we'd end up having to get a new bag. This filter is not compatible with any other type of bags other than, um, I believe, some of the Hydro uh, flask bags. Um, you can screw it on with those, but they will not interchangeably hook on to our CNOC bag. They won't hook on to just the standard like soda bottle, smart water bottle, um, like the Sawyer does. So the Sawyer retails for, with the um, squeeze, about 
$30. It comes with two, I believe it's one liter bottles that come with it. It's those flat plastic bottles that we don't really use. Um, I don't think hardly anybody uses them except for a water scoop. And the reason why we have the Sawyer Mini, which comes in at, by the way, 1.34 ounces, very lightweight, and we haven't tested it yet, is the whole rationale for why we even went with the Catadyne to begin with. Because we are two people hiking, um, if we became separated and one person has the filter and the other one doesn't, then there's that risk of somebody not having the ability to get water or filters notoriously fail. They can freeze, you can drop them and crack them, and then you're without a water filtration system. So that's the reason why we want to have, at the very least, a secondary, a backup water filter, but we don't want to carry um, something that's quite heavy. So easily could carry another Sawyer Squeeze. It's kind of big, it's three ounces. I could definitely carry that in my pack. This half is the one that carries the filtration systems typically. So I want to have a filter in my pack as well. So I went with the Mini. Now, we haven't tested it yet. It gets a lot of uh, complaints in terms of um, the longevity and the flow rate in comparison to the squeeze. But as a backup, it'll work great until we get back into town in order to get a new version of the uh, the squeeze, which will be our main filtration system with the uh, with the CNUC. So this is our backup filter, which we will be testing more coming up just to see how well we like it. But for $20 as a backup compared to almost $40 for a backup, yeah, it's kind of a no-brainer. So this is actually like half the weight of the Catadyne system, and it still has the versatility to hook to the CNOC, to hook to a smart water bottle, any other bottle that we happen to have. So flow rates. Flow rates, like I said, we haven't tested this one yet, so we're going to do that. Flow rate for this, when it started, was amazing. This one has not changed one bit. This one barely squeezes out even a few drops now. So I'm going to have this hat come on and actually uh, test the different systems for you, show you, you know, just where this one's at now and why it can't even really be used at this point, show you how good this one is still running, and we'll see how this one's doing as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you some flow rates. Catadyme be free first. And this filter has 150 miles on it, filtering for two people. See that big blister is getting so much worse. So as you can see, this is going to take forever. Okay, okay I'm going to show you the locking system on the bag. This just slides on. And as you can see, the filter's already. That's running. without squeezing at all. Yeah, that's just like if we hung it up. Yeah, that's for the so gravity system. Now I'll squeeze it. And this filter has just over 200 miles on it. Way more time than what the Catadyne has. So in about the same amount of time as it took to squeeze out probably 50 milliliters of water with the Catadyne, we have a full liter now. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate the Sawyer Mini. It's never had a drop of water filtered through it. So let's check and see what the flow rate is on it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, brand new and it's... Are you squeezing now? You are, aren't you? A little bit. Yeah. So it's filtering at about the same flow rate as so the uh, Sawyer Squeeze now is. I'm not squeezing. Okay. But with this system, we would be squeezing. It does not allow us to use the adapter system like we use for the Sawyer Squeeze. 
but once again it's just a backup filter for us mm -hmm. something to have in case um, we lose or uh, that filter fails so I call that a success yeah for sure all right so this is the system that I'm going to carry on the Appalachian Trail and this is what I'm going to carry as my backup in my pack. And this can go in the garbage. Thank you. And we'll see you on the trail. Bye.